Hi guys, welcome back to The Daily Vitamin. I'm really excited about today's video because we are going to see which one of these high-speed, high-powered Vitamix Blendtec blenders can handle the Dr. Oz green smoothie. That's right. This is the original Dr. Oz green juice recipe. It can be made in a juicer or a blender, but what I like about using a blender is that you get all the fiber. You don't lose any of the nutrients. Mm -hmm. And you can load it up with all of these fruits and vegetables. As you can see, it's quite full. There are some quite large apple slices in there. That's right, yeah. We cored all our apples. We got everything ready. We got ginger in there, lime, parsley, celery. It's the Dr. Oz original green juice recipe. A link for it is right below this video. It's a very popular recipe amongst green, green juice enthusiasts. Uh, so we decided to go with that, uh, that green juice for this blend off. I'm ready to put these blenders to our blend off test. Are you ready? I'm ready. And uh, what's going to be cool about this is we're going to get to see the different functions of the blenders. The Blendtec uh, designer has a, a, a whole juice button which you could push. The uh, Blendtec Classic has a smoothie button but not a whole juice button. So we're going to probably have to run the Blendtec Classic on manual speeds, do it ourselves. Um, and this one, the Vitamix G series has a, a juicing button I believe. Uh, I think you put it on puree to puree, it goes at a higher speed. Yeah, and the higher the speed you go, and for the longer the duration of speed, the more liquefied your smoothie will be. That's a good point, yeah. The, the higher the speed you take the juice, um, the more smoother it will get. So the longer you run it on a high speed, the more thinner the consistency will be. Of course, you could make it thicker if you add ice or other things, but if you want it to be a, a more of a juice consistency, you want to run it for a longer period of time on a higher speed. All right, well, let's do it. And that is just... I mean, look cool. at that, dude. It's just liquid. It works. All right, guys, that was an exciting blend off. We got to see the top of the line Vitamix blenders and the top of the line Blendtec blenders go heads up in a Dr. Oz green juice blend off. What we found out was that the Vitamix G series blender and the Blendtec designer series blender are at a tie for this blend off. Both were able to liquefy the ingredients almost immediately. Neither one needed a tamper or they kind of did it just right away, like with no effort. Um, mm -hmm. Whereas the, the classic had a little trouble in the beginning getting started and then it kind of caught the ingredients and then with the Vitamix C series blender you needed a tamper mm -hmm. to kind of push it in. Right. And then the S series couldn't even do the green juice recipe because of the, the tough ingredients that Dr. Oz puts in his recipe. Yeah, so that made it into last place and you would say this is first place for texture. I think, well, so far what we see is the texture of the wild side jar and the low pro jar are pretty much identical. These jars are the best jars that you could buy for both companies. The wild side jar and the low profile jar are a little wider. They offer a four inch blade versus the two core jar and the standard Vitamix uh, two core or 64 inch jar, which have a three inch blade. So these jars for juicing, I would say are the best jars. If you're going to go with one of these blenders, make sure you have one of these jars if you're going to do a lot of juicing. So there you have it. We have our winners here. They are in a tie for first place, and it's because of their wild side jar and their low profile jar that they're able to fully blend the Dr. Oz ingredients. And so they are the official winners of the texture and capability test. And over here, we have the Blendtec Classic and the C Series blenders that are in a tie for second place. And I would say that they did an equal job in texture and in blending capability. 
Yeah, exactly. Both uh, the standard uh, jars that these companies uh, provide, both had a little bit of trouble, but both were able to liquefy the Dr. Oz green juice recipe. But their upgraded jars, the low profile and the wild side jar, are much better for juicing. So if you're going to do a lot of juicing at home, make sure to have one of these jars. So the last thing that we need to find out is who's going to win for taste. That's right. Let's find out which blender produced the best tasting green smoothie. So why don't you get the C-Series and I'll get the Classic. All right. You know, Dr. Oz packs mm. a punch with his smoothies. I could definitely <laughs> taste the ginger and, you know, yeah. the ingredients. It's very detoxifying. The, oh, yeah. The, this is the original Dr. Oz green juice recipe. That one's a little thick. Um, as I drink it, it's, a, it's definitely a, a, a thick, it's like a smoothie. It's not quite a juice. Now, this one, on the other hand, is a complete juice. Um, the, the designer series compared to the, the designer wild side uh, jar completely liquefied the, the juice. It's very a thin consistency mm -hmm. with the same amount of ingredients in water. It produced a completely different texture. Um, this is much thinner than this one. This is a much thicker uh, juice. So you could see it completely uh, different. Okay. See that? Yeah, that is so far out of the ones that Look I've that. tried. This is the most liquefied of them all. Yeah, the wild side jar definitely liquefied the ingredients the, the most. Let's try. Wow. This, uh, so this one has a good taste. I think the G-Series one has a slightly better taste. I don't know, man. That's a really tough one. For me, personally, so far, I would say the Designer Series tastes the yeah, best. Yeah, yeah, the Designer. The um, Designer Series definitely, I think, wins the This is the, the classic back. here, and it's really thick. Yeah. It, it's the thickest. I'll try this one. So, yeah, the, um, whoops. That's a good point, yeah. What were you saying? that the classic blend over here is the thickest of the blends. So it was a tie between the designer and the G-Series for first place, but now we know the re final result is that the designer wins the blend off because of the liquefied, uh, how liquefied the actual uh, juice became. So the wild side jar on the designer blend tech um, liquefied the juice a little bit more mm -hmm. than the G-Series Vitamix was able to. And so as what that did is it provides for more of a smooth taste. Yeah, yeah. When, I mean, those were all whole foods. So we put in a bunch of whole foods in there. Dr. Oz juice recipes are filled with whole foods, a lot of fiber, and this totally liquefied it. It's almost like drinking a juice out of a juicer. Yeah, th that one just goes down so much smoother than the rest. The one on the end is really thick. Uh, the frothiness... I'm wondering if, if we drank through the frothiness there, if it would taste a little bit smoother because you can see yeah. where the, the froth literally takes up most of the, the glass here. There is, a, there is a lot of froth on there. Um, it's hard to get through the froth to the actual juice, so maybe you want to mix it around a little bit. Um, but it looks like this one was able to break down the nutrients, vitamins, minerals, antioxidants in the, in the ingredients a little bit better mm -hmm. than the rest of them. So the designer series has a 3.8 horsepower motor. Very powerful blender. Um, it broke down the ingredients and provided a really thin, consistent juice. Second place was the G-Series. And then third place is the classic, I mean the C-Series Vitamix. It, it broke down the nutrients a little bit more than the classic Blendtec did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they all taste great to me. Yeah. But the designer does taste and go down the smoothest. Yeah, the, the, the taste of designer is just, it's, it's great. Yeah. It's fan fantastic. It's just so good. Yeah. I mean, the G-Series also has a great consistency. It's a, it's a very, you know, it's almost uh, like thinking uh, drinking a, a juice out of a juicer, but it's just a little bit more frothy, a little bit thicker than the, the designer wild side jar. Yeah, and if you wanted to, you could add some ice, too. You could also add ice to and it, make yeah. it a little bit more chilled. Yeah, you could chill it, cool it down. Yeah. Um, so that that's it for this blend-off, guys. Thanks a lot for... For hanging out and watching, uh, watching it, and and where can they find the review of these blenders? So yeah, this this uh, blend off is a part of a series of blend off videos that we're doing for the Vitamix and Blendtec uh, full review that you can find out the DailyVitamin.com. We also left a link right below this video, which you can click on and read our review. Um, and if you want to make this recipe, it's the Dr. Oz Green Juice recipe. Um, we also left a link for that below this video. So if you guys are interested in purchasing your very own Blendtec or Vitamix blender, we do offer bonus rewards, and you can find those on thedailyvitamin.com, and you can also do a payment option. Yeah, Vitamix uh, and Blendtec both provide payment plan options. Uh, if you want to read more about their payment plans and bonus rewards, check out the thedailyvitamin.com website. 
Yeah, and if you wanted to buy your own blender refurbished, you can do that and you would get a five to seven year warranty. That's right. The, each blender model, Vitamix and Blendtec, offers uh, really strong warranties for their refurbished uh, blenders. It comes in five years or seven years. You get a, It's like buying a new blender. Refurbished is definitely the way to go, I think. Uh, you could read more about that. We, we have reviews on refurbished blenders as well at the Daily Vitamin website. And Yeah, and if you have any more questions or comments, please leave those for us in the comment box below. And please be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And we thank you so much for watching. Bye! Thank you.